Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You know what is so crazy about this video is this is like the same set of pajamas that I was wearing in my last video for my last video in this video. We're filmed like, I don't know, like a week and a half apart. Anyway, we are gonna make Chile Colorado. All it really translates to is stewed meat. Like literally stewed meat. You can use turkey, chicken, beef, pork, whatever you have, literally use it. But make sure it's something like in chunks, not like ground, cause I don't really know how that's gonna work. But it's gonna be really good. And it is so incredibly simple. If you like like super braised and tender meat in like, ooh, my mouth is literally watering in like a sweet and smoky, you can make it spicy or not sauce with flour tortillas, oh, Oh my goodness. Are you ready? Cause I am. All right, let's make it. We're gonna start off with our chili sauce cause that's the part that's gonna take like 20 minutes for it to sit. I'm gonna bring this pot of water over to the stove and we're gonna bring it up to a boil. It, the amount of water does not matter. So now we can talk chilies. I have some ancho chilies, some chile de arbol and guajillo chilies or casabel. For the chilies, specifically the ancho and the huajillo, they are not spicy. I would compare it to like a smoky raisin if you had raisins that were smoked because they're sweet. These are just not hot. Now, on the other hand, chile de arbol, these are spicy. You can buy them like from this brand. This is the brand that I mainly see whenever it comes down to buying chilies in any grocery store. You can buy these at Walmart, the commissary, H-E-B, I think certain targets have like a couple of these. They might not have all of them, but they are super cheap. I think each one of these bags was like a dollar fifty. But if you want to make this recipe and you specifically only want to make what I, the recipe is calling for, you don't want to have any extra lying around. You can buy these by weight, and so you could literally buy like two of these and pay like two pennies probably. Now that we have all of that talk out of the way, I'm gonna use two wahio chilies. I'm gonna use two of these ancho chilies. Then I'm gonna use five guajillo chilies. And we're gonna do two chile de arbol. These are the ones that are spicy. Do not let their size fool you. You could eat like 75 of these and never equal the heat of these. They're not crazy spicy, but this is where you're gonna get your heat from. And you know what's crazy about it is that like, these are so fresh that they're still pretty soft. They're not like breaking apart, but it smells exactly like a raisin. Now you guys know we do not waste anything in this household, so I'm gonna save the seeds, not the stem, because the stem you can't really do anything with, but this is just my bowl of seeds, and I'm telling you, if you even just chuck these outside of your garden, wherever that you're not gonna like mow over, you will grow plants within like two months. You can have some peppers. So we are just going to take off the little top here, and it's up to you whether you wanna cut them in half. The pieces don't matter because they're all gonna go in the blender anyway, but you just wanna shake out as many seeds and you're gonna cut it open and just get in there until all your seeds are gone. And like I said, these are not spicy, but there are some, just like a lot of different things, that carry a little bit of spice, so try not to touch your eyes. If you go to the bathroom, be careful. You can even wear gloves to do this, like any type of gloves, but as long as you wash your hands really well after this, you'll be fine. Now our water is at a rapid boil. We're gonna put all of our peppers in there. They're just gonna sink down to the bottom. We're gonna turn the heat off and I'm gonna let them sit there and soften for about a good, anywhere from like 20 to 30 minutes. The longer they sit, the softer they get and the easier it is when it comes down to putting it in the blender. So now we can work on everything else have my Dutch oven. I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Then I'm gonna toss in some turkey. This, These were three turkey legs. I took the meat off. I don't recommend doing turkey legs and trying to take the meat off. This was like the most tedious process ever. It probably took me like 40 minutes and that's ridiculous. I would have loved to have done this with beef, with chicken, with pork, but I had these turkey legs and instead of having to smoke them and make them all delicious, I'm just gonna use this because this is what I have. So I'm gonna swirl the pot a little bit just to get it coated. Then I'm gonna toss this in and then we're gonna season pretty aggressively with salt and pepper. I'm gonna spread it in like one flat layer. I definitely could have used a lot more meat, but like I said, I'm just using what I have. 
Then pretty aggressive with the salt. And same thing for some black pepper. While we're waiting for our meat to cook up, I took out the peppers that were steeping in just some boiling water. I tossed the water and I just have the peppers. They're super soft and like mushy and pliable. So now we're gonna blend this with four cups of either water, chicken broth, chicken stock, whatever you have until it's nice and thick and pretty red. Before we blend, we're gonna season. I'm gonna use one of these little cubes of this is like tomato bouillon. It's just giving you tomato flavor and salt. It's really good. But if you don't have this, you could use like a quarter cup of some tomato sauce or like two tablespoons of some, oh, did you guys just see what? It just splattered all over me. Ugh. Also gonna add a heaping teaspoon to half a tablespoon of some Mexican oregano, half a tablespoon of some garlic powder, half a tablespoon of some onion powder, a teaspoon of some cumin and a tiny little pinch of salt. Okay, whoops. So since we're just gonna be blending anyway, I don't feel like chopping. So we're gonna throw one onion in there quartered. And as always, a tablespoon of garlic. Okay, now we can blend. Okay, I added my two bay leaves. I'm also gonna add just like a tiny teaspoon of some chicken bouillon. You really wanna wait to salt because the turkey already had salt and pepper on it. Your sauce had salt in it. Bouillon has salt, the tomato one has salt. So really just taste for your seasoning at the end, but I already know this is gonna make it even more delicious. So it's perfect. And also if you wanted to make this sauce and do the same exact process, but without the meat and I don't know, maybe put it over beans or something. You could absolutely do that. But what I would also recommend for a quicker dinner, even though the sauce still has to cook for a while, an even quicker dinner would be pulling apart a rotisserie chicken, tossing it in there, done. Okay, as we have a little Roman in the background, this meat is so tender. Now, let me show you guys over here. I have been eating this. I cannot believe how good it is. I've had it with beef. I've had it with pork in Turkey. I was kind of thinking, ah, we're gonna go out on a whim here. This is a yes, you need to make this.